Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Mets and SD podcast. Guys, you can follow me at Darian Evans reigns.blogspot.com and on Twitter at Mets and Jets uh, 908 on Twitter. All right. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, sooner or later, the winning lineups will come, other than my first week with the Cam pick. It's, it's DFS, you know, you can't you can't control it. If I was able to control it, I'd be doing this for a living. But that doesn't, you know, remove the fact that I do have knowledge. And sooner or later, I'm going to get back to my winning ways, which I've been winning. I won before last year and this year. So let's get back to these picks. Uh, for this week, week eight, I'm going to give you more solid picks this these these should hit um there's a lot of weather factors and a lot of games this this week um with uh the jets in atlanta the so basically the whole east coast every team that's playing on the east coast has either a, a huge rain problem or a, a good decent wind that's going to be blowing and like in carolina in the Tampa bay game there's supposed to be winds up to 20 to 25 miles per hour which that would affect um, deep balls. You got to be concerned with wind. Rain really doesn't factor in that much, but wind can be a huge factor in the passing game, especially on the deep ball. But uh, for week eight, my first stack, I haven't, I had no one really talking about Drew Brees all week long. I guess they're just mulling over the fact that yeah, it's Drew Brees and he's home, but everyone's so focused on Andy Dalton against the Colts. But this is a great spot for Drew Brees and the Saints. He's back home. But we get the fact that Chicago is a, is a decent defense, yes, at home. They're good, but now they're away. And they have to face uh, Saints offense in the Superdome where they kick every every time. Drew, Drew Brees is, smashes every time he's home. So here's just just a preview of what Drew Brees does. Last season, 2016, some of the games that uh, Drew Brees put up were quite ridiculous. Let me go to 2016. All right. Some of the games he put up. Let's see. All right. Right here, Oakland, 423 yards, four touchdowns. Carolina at home, 465 and four touchdowns. Here's another game, home, 310 yards, four touchdowns. It's it's going gonna, it's gonna to repeat itself again this week against Chicago. They're not good away from, from Chicago, and they have to put up with someone who just clearly passes the ball a ton. Yes, they have a running game, but this should be a clear blowout. Drew Brees is going to get his numbers, and he should exceed that 24 points he had last week. Uh, my main um, player I want to pair him with for week eight will be uh, Michael Thomas, which his, his week was supposed to be last week, but it didn't pan out that way. So I'm going back to the well. Michael Thomas at 7,600. Uh, last week he had 11 targets. They thought he was going to go off against Green Bay. You know, factor was Brett Hundley really didn't throw the ball or or move the ball much. So there wasn't really much of a back and forth. But Michael Thomas finished respectably. But what? He didn't exceed value. But this week he will exceed value. He's home. He's against a weak Chicago D. And Drew Brees is a professional. He's going to pick this team apart. It's a very young defense. All right. So we got a main the main stack is gonna be a Saint stack that's gonna give you it's gonna it's it's a little expensive. So you gotta find some value. Um my next stack is gonna be uh Russell Wilson right here, the Seattle stack. So Russell Wilson comes in at sixty five hundred, a little bit cheaper than Drew Brees, if you wanna save some salary. There's another team in a great spot at home. I'm giving you another home team that should dominate. Houston is has been ravaged uh, with injuries on their defense, and they got to go cross country to face Seattle in Seattle. And this is the time when Russell Wilson usually wakes up. It's the when when it's winter season. Russell Wilson starts to kick up, starts throwing those 
three three TD games, four TD games. It's Russell Wilson and Seattle are back. Baldwin has been itching for a huge game. That's going to be the guy I want to pair him with. Baldwin comes in at uh, 6900 yeah, this this whole stack is cheaper than the Saints. So, uh, Doug Baldwin had a great game last week. He's gonna copy that same performance against the 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 Houston Texans. Um, currently, the Texans he lines up against. Let's see. All right, this is uh, Fantasy Labs. I use this a well. This is a matchup um, analysis, basically. As you can see, what wide receivers match up with what corners, what linemen match up with uh, the linemen on the other side, et cetera, et cetera. So right here, we got uh, Baldwin matching up with Kareem Jackson. Baldwin's going to pick him apart. Um, the, the the connection between Baldwin and uh, Russell Wilson is ridiculous, and he should exceed the $6,900 price for you this week. All right, he only has two touchdowns this this year. I expect another touchdown, and probably his second hundred yard catching game. All right, so that's my second stack. We got a Breeze stack, a Russell Wilson stack, with Baldwin, and my number one running back this week. All right, of course I love McCaffrey. Make sure you get him in your lineups. But my number one. Uh, running back for this week, who I think is going to exceed all running backs in fantasy points, is going to be Melvin Gordon uh, against New England at New England. This man is like basically the whole team. Um, New England is going to focus on um, Phil Rivers' main target, which is going to be Keenan Allen. And the weakness of the Patriots is the run game. So they, they're going to be able to pick this team apart. Uh, another dual threat running back like Kareem Hunt in week one, Melvin Gordon can do the same thing. So he can run for 100 and catch for 100. So Melvin Gordon is going to, if they, if the Chargers are disciplined and stick to the run, which they should be because they feed this man almost 20 times a week just rushing. And then, yeah, let alone he gets uh, at least six plus targets a game in receiving. Melvin Gordon should be able to eat against this team. All right. Uh, there's another thing I noticed. Um, it was just odd. I just just seen it right now. Home games, crazy, but Melvin Gordon only averages 11 points in home games, which is a decent sample size. Uh, now, but if you look lower, Melvin Gordon in away games averages 30.7. I think he just he comes alive. He likes to show off uh, on on away on away games, and Melvin Gordon is going to be able to really destroy this New England defense, who who is one of the worst defenses in the league. Uh, last week was just it was too much fog. Um, Matt Ryan really couldn't do nothing. Patriots have their number. They demoralized them from the Super Bowl, and then they just picked them apart last week. Uh, Chargers are a red hot team. They won, I believe, they won four with three games in a row, and they're gonna go into in New England and beat them. So get Melvin Gordon in your lineups. He should be the number one running back this week. All right. So I'm gonna give you guys one more pick. All right, I'm going to go to tight end. I'm going to give you a safe tight end, someone who's going to give you a good bang for your buck. The other, the tight end is like weirdly priced. We got Gronk and Ertz, so high price, which is warranted. But I want to save a little salary, and I want to go with someone who's can produce that 7K value at a 4, a 4K price. That's going to be Jordan Reed, all right? Jordan Reed. He's going against uh, the 31st ranked. Let me see. It's right here on Roto Grinders using the DO, DVOA uh, matchups. As you can see, it's right here. 31st, Washington against Dallas. 31st against tight ends. All right. So Jordan Reed is in another great matchup. Um, 
He's finally healthy now. He can produce like Gronk and Ertz. And he, Kirk Cousins finally has his toy back. Those 10 targets, is he shouldn't be able to match that. And hopefully he can duplicate 26 points. If if so, then we're going to be at the top of the charts in tournaments with these, uh, these Breeze stacks and Wilson stacks with Reed. So just guys find try to be able to find um, value in high uh, Vegas total matchups and then just fit in these stacks and you guys are going to be fine. All right. I'm playing a little less this week. I'm going to do my million dollar maker lineup and uh, a cash game and see how that goes. But I'm definitely going to have a Saints stack, um, a Seattle stack, and fit in my favorite running back and tight end for week eight. Guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right. I'm gonna put up I'm gonna try to put up some pics on Twitter at um message s nine oh eight. And if I do do an article this week, I'll post that on Twitter as well. All right, good luck this week guys. See you next week and uh let's get this money. <laughs>